so I won't pass and some crew are back there. I think they're going to come out. We're going to all out. <laughs> and it is where they come. Uh, Tony Lane. Uh, Big Tony. Top 10. Um, and uh, when I saw Wes's name in the past, uh, I 
work with uh, West. I said, well, if West believes in this, then perhaps I should too. So Nick and I met, and uh, we seemed to get along. <laughs> and uh, the rest is is uh, digital. We actually drugged him. <laughs> we actually drugged him, and then he woke up in Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, why not? I guess we'll shoot this ass for him. That's what that was. <laughs> Do we have any questions from the audience here? Let's see. Yep, in the back there. Yep. Um, it's a, a question about uh, the character of Peter. Is it a coincidence that he bears a striking resemblance to Terry Richardson? <laughs> Does he? <laughs> Nick? A little bit, yeah, I guess, right? We just, we just sort of discovered that. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, in all of us, it's probably about it. His wardrobe, for sure, and the tattoos, for sure. But there is there is about five different people he's sort of like loosely based on. You're so trying to not get sued, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, obviously the last name Hemmings is that yeah. a tribute to David Hemmings yeah, yeah, from the uh, yeah. Um, what else do we have here? Shine. Anyone on the balcony there? You're all good. Okay, there we go. I just wanted to ask about the textures and the special effects that you use to, I guess, create the gruesome pictures. Can you talk about the, the practical? Like, how much of the stuff was like kind of practical effects that you rely on? Any digital? I mean, when it comes to horror films, people love the practical. Yeah, we use mostly practical. Um, the only digital things we would, we did, um, we had like some night light extension shots. Um, all the photos were actually, some of the photos were actually ones that these guys actually took. Luke took a lot of those photos, Cal took a lot of those photos. Um, I think the only other digital, we did some, uh, you know, well, a lot of the flashes, like a lot of times when there's a rolling shutter, um, they would be a clip. So there would be like a half a frame that would be flashed, a half frame that wouldn't. So most of the digital enhancements were actually just cleaning up the flashes. But most of everything we did was, were all practical. And I have to ask it as a uh, patriotic question, uh, why did you kill Catherine Isabel right away? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got a scream queen. That's why, that's why she wanted to do the movie, actually. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, we, I remember talking to her on the phone, and I was like, we, oh, we don't create that Kate Isabel. She's amazing. Nobody will ever think we'll kill her off in the first five minutes. So she read the script and liked it, and she was like, I called her. Um, I said, look, you know, it'd be kind of crazy. <laughs> I've never seen that. She's like, yeah, I've never seen it either. Like, All right, fuck it, let's do it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so she came and she got this movie to it. Yeah, for the Midnight Madness blog, we were kind of trying to come up with story ideas, and someone was like, oh, look, Catherine's Bell profile. I'm like, calm the expectations. <laughs> Was there any sort of competition going on to whose character was going to die the most bloodiest? <laughs> Seem to be a seller at this time. Yeah, I'm pretty glad that I shouldn't get my hands that dirty. But um, I, I, it, it accelerated. That was one of the things that when I uh, when I read the script, I was like, okay, it's cool, it's interesting, it's weird. And then the last 20 pages, I was like, shit. <laughs> I, I actually booked the film before I read the whole script, and I read it by myself at night in the house. And I was like, oh my God, what's happening? I'm going to die. So, yeah. <laughs> Look, Luke and Corey were both very sweet with each each take of each killing. Like, I think Corey, Corey you killed me, right? Yeah. Like, every time he put his hands over my face and dragged me away, and then we pull around the tree and go, "You can't him, sir." Yeah. And then Nick would pull over and go, "More! I need it to be violent." It's okay. We're really doing the Catherine Isabel scene. Woman out of the car, and the first take, he pulled her out, and she probably fell on concrete and smacked her head. And I went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we, we continued on with the whole take. And Nick came up after, and you know, we all like, looked after the girl, and, and she was fine, she was laughing, she thought it was hilarious. I was shaking, and he was like, You're a killer. <laughs> <laughs> you need to man up. <laughs> Did you hear her head? He was like, Yeah. So 
So, okay, um, then uh, the masks. What are the faces? The masks, okay, well, that was a big conversation because there's, there's several different scripts that we had going back and forth and doing makeup and masks. Sometimes there were some scripts we were talking about packing makeup. They kept me going back to masks, and then I had a really long conversation with Wes about masks and what they, the meaning of masks and how far back they pay. And it was like, we have real masks. And, and, uh, so I think we, one of the earlier drafts, we, we always wanted them to be like old lady masks, was, was actually in the script called Barbara Bush, which sort of looks like Barbara Bush. Um, and the other mask was Marilyn Monroe. And then they were all through, obviously. They didn't mean they didn't take a life cast of Barbara Bush, obviously. <laughs> And we have anyone else here in the audience? Yep, yep. Go back. Mm -hmm. How much uh, time was spent on branding for Scoopies and for the supermarket? Oh, this is a tummy question. Actually, a lot of that stuff is fabricated and made up. Yeah, but how long did you spend on it? Because it was everywhere. No, it was just our, our, our production designer was wonderful and it put that stuff up and did a fantastic job at our so. Uh, well, the, the market is actually a real market in Victoria, uh, Canada. So that, that, was a, that was a practical location. It was called something else, I think, but we changed it. We just rolled with the original, uh, the name of the place that we shot at. When, when, I, when I first saw it, and I saw the fear with the moose on it, and I couldn't tell because it was on TV screen, like, is that actually a Canadian little maple leaf on the moose that they missed? And I don't care. Or it was in Canada, so probably. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go. One more good question. Yeah. Who hates AT&T here? Who hates at and A lot of us. I just hate the bill. I don't mind AT&T. Who wrote it? What did you All right, put your hands together for the girl.